let's start by not assuming it to be a completely different role as there to be a completely different role than qa like they have uh, like uh, an overlapping boundary you have to understand that so they are not east and west in most points of the earth so uh, <laughs> let's not overwhelm ourselves by s- s- seeing it is as something like that uh, the second is uh, uh, we have to be very clear and break the myth that sdet is not just about automation yes automation is a very integral part of sdet but it is much more than that it's a bigger role it's a universe yeah. so with that i think uh, l- let's also discuss uh, how to uh, you know tr- make that transition while being on the job or playing your current right. role correct so like f- f- like as we discussed in the, uh, you know few minutes ago also first change your mindset be ready to get out uh, you know out of your comfort zone and find the right reason find your reason to be the to be an estate right that would keep mm-hmm. you motivated uh mm-hmm. the second is i think this this we can all start from even tomorrow just go uh, go to the office tomorrow and do what what you have planned but A, a, a one level deeper like test what you have planned but one level deeper and connected to three nodes like one is the engineering one is the user impact and one is the business impact right mm-hmm. and understand whatever you are doing how it is is it working from the engineering perspective from the coding mm-hmm. perspective right how is it helping your company to create value to create business to create revenue and last mm-hmm. how, user user impact that uh, will the user experience be enhanced when you release that feature mm-hmm. to production so mm-hmm. when you uh, so when, when you compare you know compare or dig anything with these three nodes you mm-hmm. will be able to find much better and complex and hidden scenarios and that would really help you to bring value to your organization and this is the first step of being invested you know practically mm-hmm. speaking mm-hmm. second i think we have already discussed uh, coding uh, again be very comfortable start with reading writing code take small small patches of code that you can write and understand starting from loops to conditional statements as a trend and try the platforms like lead code hacker rank hacker art in order to solve more complex uh, data structure based algorithms uh, yeah i think after that uh, again you can start asking questions you can start tr- try to find that opportunity to advocate about quality in different phases of a software development life mm-hmm. cycle right from product management mm-hmm. to project management to you know devops customer service uh, mm-hmm. uh, agent so try to build those channels especially if you are working in a product company and make mm-hmm. use of, of those channels uh, you know holding the flag of quality is everyone's responsibility that's our you know ultimate mm-hmm. motto so you have to ensure yeah. to build a quality focused culture in each, each mm-hmm. of these fu- f- uh, cross functional teams as well functional right mm-hmm. and you know when you will be doing all the above points as we are discussing uh, i'm very sure that we uh, you, you will be falling short of time you will be you know uh, craving of something that gives you more time or saves your time and now is the best time to auto, uh, to you know introduce automation so hmm. uh, with its sole purpose of saving your time so hmm. what you can do is start learning a tool uh, as per the you know what you are working on on the project that you are currently working on and parallelly start automating it also with hands on experience so okay. that would be the best way and that would help you to also save your time and apply it on some meaningful task uh, in, in 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 your, in your transition in your project mm-hmm. right and last is be very uh, i think is yes, one thing is very important i think the books the resources uh, which way you find your passion and you you know you find your uh, habits linking to i think be very updated about what is happening in the industry you can subscribe to newsletters uh, to keep yourself updated you can watch tech talks you can join these communities um, attend the events uh, you know and investing this time uh, is uh, is really worth it because that yeah. would keep you relevant keep you updated of what's happening in other companies and what other you know as tech engineers are actually doing and how they are implementing in their organization so that you can take an inspiration mm-hmm. and uh you know hmm. tweak it according to your project hmm. Hmm. yeah i i think that's the, a good insight in the la- uh, one, yeah, one book that you you say uh, the last book that i'm uh, reading is uh, you know uh, uh, is leading quality uh, so i'll I, i'll uh, share the links 
you know and the illusions about a perfect software and you know there is also uh, one book by uh, pradeep sandrajan which is very beautiful buddha book of finding yeah. buddha in testing ways like it's based on finding your peace in this world of chaos and yeah. i i'm sure that every one of us would uh, be, uh, you know would relate yeah yeah definitely